Hi everyone, this is Sheila Smith and this is a continuation of the Hostess Coaching for doing a Facebook party uh, through an event page. Now, uh, I'm actually going to pick up back on the Hostess Coaching portion for just a moment. What I want to discuss is when you are initially speaking with your hostess and you're setting your date and your time, and if you do decide to do a theme party, that's when you want to make the decision is then, you know, offer the themes to her, find out if she just wants just a regular jewelry party or what she wants to do because the week prior to the party is when you are going to set up and get everything ready so that on party night you are set to go and these are the things that I'm going to show you in this video. So for this particular party, we decided that we wanted to do an 80s party. Um, 80s parties are a blast, but there are so many other types of parties that you can do. And I will share with you a list of tons of them, or you can just Google theme parties and you will get, come up with tons of them. So we're back here at our uh, event party page that we started on on the last video and set up. And I went ahead and did some pre-party posts that I would do throughout the week. For example, since this is an 80s party, I asked people for their favorite song because you've got to have music and I will use what songs they put down here because this is their party for the hostess and the guests. I would put their songs into a playlist that we will include during the party. The next day, of course, I did this all in one day because of the training, but in normal situation, the next day, we have some fun getting to know what is your favorite 80s movie. And again, whatever theme you are doing for your party, you would create your graphics, post them on here, and just have some fun, interact, get your hostess interacting, get the guests interacting, and make sure, you know, get to know everyone, build those relationships. So what's your favorite 80s movies? They can put a picture, they can put a title, you know, get some interaction going. The next day, this one is an extremely popular one. What, who was your 80s heartthrob? Remember the old Teen Beat magazines from back in the 80s? Things like that. And then people would comment all of their heartthrobs, and that really gets the interaction and fun going for the party. So those are just some of the pre-posts. I do something, like I said, one post each day. Do not overwhelm your guests. Do not drive them crazy with notifications, or they're going to click not going because they're already getting too many notifications and you, you haven't even started the party yet. So here is the rest of what you will be doing to prepare for your party ahead of time. Now I have uh, a couple of screens I'm going to open here for you. First is my Word document. Now you can use whatever you are comfortable with. I use Microsoft Word, but what I have created here is my pre-party post, my post one, post two, post three. These are all of the posts that I am going to make during the entire party on the party night. Okay, now on this other screen, I have created a folder where I have picture one, picture two, picture three, well, three is another link, picture four, picture five, and etc. these go with each post. So everything is already set up for me. It's ready to go. So whenever we get to party night, all I have to do is post everything and I'm ready to go. I have also created albums of the pictures that will be posted during the party. Now I post albums, not individual pictures. Okay, in the album, and I'll show you how I do that. So inside this album, I have a cover photo, which you may not be able to see this, but it says uh, Dawn's 80s Party, album number one. And then I have all the pictures that are going to go in that album, okay? 
and it's your choice. I like to mix it up and put a little bit of everything. I put the earrings, the bracelets, all the different colors. I put a variety inside each one of these albums. You can do it so that you have one album that's all necklaces, one album that's all earrings, one that's all rings, and etc. Or you can mix them up like I do here. Or you can focus on individual colors, whatever your choice is. You'll see my four albums here. And then one other thing that I do is I create a few videos. Now these videos I will reuse over and over and over again. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of my document. About 30 minutes to an hour before the party, I will make a pre-party post reminding everyone, hey, there's going to be a party tonight. Now in this case, I did a specific video for the 80s party. I dressed up, I put some music on, and did a quick little, you know, 15, 20 second video telling them how excited that I am for the party. You can also do just a completely generic video that just says, hi, my name is Sheila. I'm going to be doing your party tonight. I can't wait to meet you all and have a great time. And I will see you in about 30 minutes or in about an hour or whatever you want your video to say. That way you can reuse that video regardless of the theme because it's completely generic. So if we uh, let me go back to our actual, uh, I'm sorry, let me go back to our actual page where our party is. Again, like I said, our first post that I'm going to make here is going to be my, we go to the right place, is my video. So I'm going to post this little video and, you know, see you in 30 minutes. Okay, just for example. And I will click post. Now with videos, as you can see here, it takes a second for Facebook to process it and it will tell you in just a few minutes that it has it uploaded and ready to go. Again, prior to the party, another thing that I do to make life easier during the party is if you look at the top of my screen, you will see that I have multiple tabs open. And here is what these are for, okay? If you have a business page, this is where a business page comes in handy. On your business page, you will go to share a photo. At that point, you can choose individual photos. You can create albums, photo carousels, etc. You're going to create a photo album. And you're going to go to album one. And you're going to, I'm just going to choose a few of these so that it doesn't take so long. But you would choose all of your pictures here. Click open. And it's going to begin downloading and getting these files ready. You go ahead and you type in Dawn's 80s party album number one. You're going to put in a description here. Um, I'll show you my other one here. Actually, I'll just copy and paste it. Copy. And my description, I just put, yes, everything's only $5. Comment sold on the pieces you want to buy. Be quick. I only have one of each. And I leave it. I just leave it sitting right there. I don't click on post. I just leave it. Then in the next tab, as you can see, I've already done this for album two. Again, I only just put a couple of pictures since we're doing this as a training. On my third tab, I have album number three. And on my fourth tab, album number four. So I am already set up and ready to go for this party. So what am I going to do next? Well, if you refresh your screen, you will see that my video has posted. People have had a chance to view my video and I don't think you will be able to hear it because I have 
the volume off on my computer for this training, <laughs> but you can see I'm just having fun. I'm singing along with the song Girls Just Want to Have Fun. It's an 80s party. Bring your aqua net. We're going to have a great time, and I can't wait to see you guys. You know, that's pretty much it. It's uh, like about a 30 second max video here, and that's it. Okay, well, let me stop that. <laughs> So now we'll go back to the Word document and basically I just start going from there. I keep the post number on there. I copy, control C. I go to my event page, control V. Now one of the things that I do is I wait until I get here to change the name of the person who's hosting the party. This is a welcome to the party, how do you know our hostess picture that I'm going to add. And you want to be able to tag your host right here. Now, I'm not going to tag anyone because we're just doing this as a training and we don't want anyone tagged on this video. So I'm just going to pretend that we are tagging our hostess. We add a photo. And guess what photo we're going to add? We are adding photo number one with post one. See how simple that is? You've prepared ahead of time, you have everything ready, and bam. Welcome to the party. How do you know our hostess? Gets interaction going right away. Everyone starts saying hi. You make sure that your hostess is interacting. You are interacting with them. You're all getting to know each other. You're getting, you're telling how you met the hostess, etc. And this is how you begin to build more on those relationships. So next we are going to go back to our document and we're going to copy post number two, which tells how the party works. Copy. We're going to paste. And uh, guess what picture goes here? Picture number two. Easy peasy. And just during this, because you already have everything already set up, you have plenty of time to interact with your customers, your shoppers, your guests, the people that you're building these relationships with. Now, I don't like using for a live actual event party such as this, I personally do not like using the, the, the applications, the programs, the uh, sent shares, the different apps that you can use to plan your posts ahead of time. Because what if we were all still back here on this post and we're still chatting it up about how we know the hostess and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden this post pops up or, you know, we're just in that you don't want to interrupt some great conversation that may be going on back and forth with a new post. This describes how the party works. Now, the way I do the parties is active host, active task is pinned at the top of each event. That way, if anyone gets lost, if they have to leave, if they have to go to the bathroom, if they want to grab a snack, if they need to put their kid to bed and come back to the party later, that is why I do two things. I keep the posts numbered and I also pin the latest post to the top of the page. And I'll show you how to do that. You just click here, you click pin post, and bam, it's pinned to the top of your page. Anything else you post goes underneath what's pinned at the top, right? So, um, what are we going to do next? Once everyone has read this, uh, you will go on to post number, uh, well, actually, I just did, I, <laughs> I pinned the wrong one. We're on post three now, so um, we're going to go back to our Word file, and we are going to get this party started with a little music. So remember earlier in the week, when I asked people for their favorite songs. All right, we're gonna just copy that line, post number three, we put that in there. Well, you can go into Spotify, 
You can go to YouTube. You can go anywhere and you can create a playlist. Uh, I recreated this epic 80s playlist. I mean, you've got Journey, you've got Jay Giles Band, you've got all these great 80s songs. And it's probably about two hours worth of songs I have here. So all I do here is click on share, copy the link, and then go over here, share the link, and guess what we have? We have our Epic 80s playlist. You post that, and that starts a ton of great conversation. You pin the post. It asks you, are you sure? Yes, you confirm it. Now, pinned to the top of your page is your latest post, which is your 80s playlist. So if people want to play music while they're partying, that just makes it that much better. And it just makes it a blast because people start commenting on the awesome music and the memories, and it, it really makes it a ton of fun. Um, now, I go on from there. As I said, I will continue with the file. Um, Post number four, I ask, uh, let's see, who has been to, this one depends, okay? The next post, I will either ask who has been to a party before, um, if these are folks that I know have been to a party before, if it's, a, if it's a host that I've done a party with before, I get them to post selfies of them wearing their jewelry or tell me what their favorite piece is or things like that. If there are people that have not been to a paparazzi party before, then I put something along the lines of, I love the variety of our jewelry. We have new pieces every day. What is your usual go-to piece of jewelry? Again, getting interaction, getting to know them, getting to know what they like so that I can, you know, interact with them more. I'll continue on with the posts and the images and to not drag this video out way too long, I am going to skip on. I'm, I am going to do post number five, though, uh, because that is uh, one of the posts that can bring about some great interaction. And post number five, you're going to post picture number five. Now, the reason I'm doing this is you'll see all of the posts I've put up so far, I'm not selling anything. I'm getting to know people. We're getting to know each other. They're getting to know me. We're building a relationship. We're bonding. We are having fun. We're not trying to just be salesy and pushy. Now, what I do is I post things like this, you know, have them comment, for example, on this party, 80s party theme, show me your funniest 80s meme, okay? So I'll post that. I'll even comment and, you know, add my own to get it started, to get things rolling. And I make sure I let them know that just for participating, they get entered into a free drawing. And what I'll do is at the end of the evening, I will put down all the names and the next day, well, that evening or the next day, whatever the hostess and I have decided together, because we're a team, uh, I'll announce winners that have won like a free piece. I'll give someone free shipping. I'll give someone a tax-free order. And so this gets them, again, participating, building the relationships, getting to know each other, having fun. Okay? So we're going to go back to our document here. And um, the next post is where I show them how to buy the jewelry. Okay, so post number six. And again, you can change these posts up. You can, I'm going to share this file with you so you can copy it identical word for word. Um, you might want to create your own documents or I mean your own graphics since mine have uh, my bling room all over them. Um, but basically, then I give them instructions. Here's how you can buy the jewelry. I'm going to be posting links to the albums which have all the pictures. You comment sold, everything's $5. There's only one of everything. When you're finished shopping, let me know, yada, yada. And ask them to like this post so I know that they've read it. And again, like I said, I will pin it to the top. Confirm. Now this post is pinned to the top of the page. So again, if someone had to leave and come back, 
they could just refresh their screen and see where we're at. Okay. Now, if you go back and look at your document, post seven is your first album of goodies. All right. And you even here, you're telling yourself, reminding yourself what you, you don't even have to remember what to do. You have in your notes here what you are doing. So post number seven is your first album of goodies. Here is where you're going to go to that first tab. Everything is already loaded up and ready. All you have to do is click post. Okay. Uh, no, you didn't lose me. My computer is being slow. <laughs> Thank you so much, computer. But see, hopefully, if your computer is being slow like mine right now, you have conversation going on over on your event page. It's not just all dead silence. People are listening to music. People are talking about their hot 80s idol, you know, things like that. Okay, once your page is posted, you click here, get the link, your album link was copied, you're going to go back to your party page, paste that link, and there is your album. All you have to do is click post. Now at this point, again, you want to pin that post to the top. Again, so if anyone comes back, They've left the party and come back. They know exactly where you were at. We're at album number one. Oh, I better go look and check out the jewelry before somebody else buys pieces that I want. When they click on here, it's going to open up the album. They're going to be able to look through the pictures. They're going to be able to comment sold on the pieces they want. And when they close that window, they're still on the party page. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go back to our document. Post number eight, I'm, uh, what I do is I like to share, again, some other things that are, it's not all salesy all the time. You're building relationships. You're sharing valuable information. So my next post is a video that I made showing wrap, plate, wrap bracelets, how you can wear it as a wrap bracelet or how you can wear it as a choker. So I copy that. Paste it on our event page, and then I'm going to add the video. So again, you have everything all organized in your one file folder here. Go to your videos. This is my video on chokers. When I load this video up, again, it's going to take a minute for it to load up. But once you have that posted, I'm going to give that a minute to post. But once you have that posted, you can, in the meantime, again, you are continuing with conversations that are going on in your party, you're interacting, you're building those relationships, you're getting to know each other, you're having fun, and now your video is ready to be watched. Here, I, again, it's less than one minute long, I'm just going to skip through it. There I'm showing how it's a bracelet. And there I'm showing how it's a choker, and then that's the end of the video, right? So what I do next, uh, I'm going to have to refresh my screen for you. But what I do next is I have that pinned to the top. We almost forgot, but we make sure it's pinned to the top. But what I do then is I go into the comments here. And again, through my planning I've done this week prior to the party, I have, look at these pictures here. These are wrap bracelets that I have available and for sale. So I will post them underneath my wrap bracelet slash choker video. Okay, so I'm not going to post them all, but you see where I'm going with this. They can comment sold right here. They say, oh my God, I love that. I want the wrap bracelet, or I want it as a wrap bracelet and a choker, and they can comment sold right there on the spot. Okay, the next thing that I do is I share another little tip, and uh, Pinterest, Pinterest, I, I put this note here for you guys too, 
which will be in the file on our team training website. But Pinterest is a great place to find these kinds of tips and tricks and pictures. Again, this is post nine. So since I am already prepared, I go over here and I load up all my pictures that are for post nine. And there you go. All four of these pictures, I'm going to open up. I'm going to post these. I'm going to pin this to the top. Confirm that I'm replacing the previous one with this one. And you wouldn't, your parties wouldn't be moving along quite this quickly, although I'm trying to do it as fast as possible so this video is not so long. But uh, these are tips and tricks that get people talking. They're like, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. I've never seen that. I never thought of that. Um, and so, again, more interaction, more friend making, less salesy pushiness. You, you don't want that. So, let's see what we have left here. And again, at the same time, remember those people that are listening to the music, they have their music playing in the background. I usually have it playing while the party's going on as well. It keeps me in a party mood. Um, post 10, I am now going to post our second folder. I'm going to go ahead and do that one. So Control C to copy and Control V. All right, so this is our second album. Where are we going to go for our second album? We're going to go up here at the top to our second tab. Everything's already loaded up for us. I wish you could see me moving my hands as though you could see them. <laughs> but there we have album number two has been loaded. Here are the pictures. Well, eventually the pictures will show up. There they are. You click right here. There's normally three little dots here. You get the link. Done. You go back to your event page. Add the link. There is album number two. Magically right there on your event page. Is that not amazing? So, I mean, it's so simple. It's so simple and easy. Now, we're almost 30 minutes into this training video, and I apologize for that because I wanted to try to keep this as short as possible. So I am actually going to skip over some of these posts in part because I'm going to be loading the file up to our uh, team training page. But um, at this point, you've posted two albums full of pictures that they can go through and look and shop and buy from. You've posted helpful tips. You've, hope, you've posted a training video. You've posted a, uh, some fun stuff, but you have you know, built up this relationship before you started trying to sell them things. Now, at this point, I'm going to ask them, hey, uh, do you think you would like to do what I'm doing? So you have your post number 11. You add, you guessed it, picture number 11. I usually give myself a few di different options. Not to overwhelm them, I will usually only, you know, maybe choose two pictures here, but just something that gives them information about becoming a consultant. And just leave the option open to them. You know, I'd love to chat with you. If you have any questions, answer, I'd be happy to answer them. Send me a message. And then I post that. Of course, do our usual pinning to put it at the top of the page. Or go back to our file. And like I said, normally you would not be moving quite this quickly. Um, since it's an 80s party, you know, 80s memories. Uh, I have a video that I do for scarf necklace. And just like I did with the um, wrap bracelet and choker, underneath the scarf necklace video, in that video I demonstrate the multitude of ways that you can wear the necklace. And that video is about three minutes long because there's a ton of ways to wear that scarf necklace. But underneath that, I post pictures of the three different star scarf necklaces I have available, the gold, the gunmetal, and the silver. And if I have more than one, I let them know so that they can comment there to buy those. Then 
what I do is um, post 14 and 15, I go ahead and post albums 3 and 4. Why? Because I don't want to take up their entire evening. I know they're busy. I don't want to do long, drawn-out videos of just showing them piece after piece after piece of jewelry. I don't want to post individual pictures. All of that is stated here. And I simply want to go ahead and show them the pictures and let them go through the albums at their leisure. Once we get finished with that, we're going to go to post number 16. We're going to copy that and paste. We're going to add our photo. You guessed it. <laughs> photo number 16 is where I let them know, hey, I hope you've had a great time tonight. If you'd like to host your own party, uh, like Dawn has, and get your own free jewelry, you know, let me know. I give them some examples of some different themes or let them know that it doesn't have to be a theme at all. We can just have fun talking about jewelry and bling and fashion. And then we're going to move on to the final post, which is post number 17, while you're shopping. Control V. I'm going to add the photo number 17, and that is actually the final post of our party for the evening. Uh, I, this brings us to the end of tonight's festivities, and again, reword this however you choose to. Continue shopping. Uh, the hostess and I will discuss again prior to the party if the party ends that night, if we want to leave it open until the next day to give everyone a chance to shop, things like that. For this hostess, we chose to wait until the next day. If you have that situation, then on the next day, guess what I already have planned out? The final post, which is uh, the next day, post 18 here. Have that which is your choice discuss it with your host but I basically just put uh, my final graphic which reminds them and I'll you know put some description here with it but it just lets them know hey thank you for joining our party last night hope you had a great time reminder shopping ends at 6 p.m. today and that's pretty much it once the party is over I send out invoices uh, they make their payments, we ship the orders. Um, it's a great time. So you've built relationships, you've had a great time. You undoubtedly, by having fun building these relationships, you can also make a post to invite them to your sales group so that they can shop with you on a regular basis, whether you post in your sales group daily, weekly, bi-weekly. Um, you know, you could do live sales there all sorts of things, but you have built relationships within this event, this party that was exclusive for this hostess and her friends only, so that you could be their paparazzi jewelry lady for, for all time, forever. So <laughs> they will be future customers, they will be future hostesses, and they will be future consultants that will be in that party, I promise you. Almost every party I've ever done, I've had someone become a consultant. Almost every party I've ever done, I've had someone sign up or want to do a, a party as well. A lot of them wanted to do the same party because they had so much fun, they wanted to do like another 80s party or another wine and chocolate party or something like that. So that's basically it. Um, Again, the folder that I have everything in, I'll review that very quickly. I have, again, each one of these pictures numbered to go with each post. I have the albums ready to go. I have the videos already done and ready to post. I have the, uh, on my business page, I have everything ready to load up. So when the time comes to click post, it's ready. There's a lot of prep work to be done the week before, but if you do all of this and you have fun 
and you interact and you let those people know how much they mean to you during the party, I promise you, you will have sales on top of sales. You will have more parties on top of more parties and it will be a blast. Um, if you sold a hundred pieces of jewelry during that one party, would it be worth all the work and effort that you put in the week before? You make $225 in profit. You replace those hundred pieces with brand new pieces that are coming out every single day. And if you just have only one party a week, you know, you're making almost $1,000 a month just from doing one party a week and a little prep work to prepare ahead of time. Your party can be over in an hour, hour and a half tops. And especially once you get into the groove of it, this training is 35 minutes at this point, but if once you get into the groove of doing your parties, you have everything set, bam, 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 you can knock these puppies out in an hour easy. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope you have been patient enough to watch this long video to the end. And thank you for joining our fun 80s party. <laughs> If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask, and I uh, will try to make you a lot of short, 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 short videos for all of our future trainings. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.